C is one of the most widely used programming languages. It's used to write programs for both Windows and Linux operating systems. In fact, C forms the foundation of the Linux kernel. C is considered a middle-level language. If you don't know about the middle language, basically we have three types of programming languages. High-level programming languages, which includes Python, Bash, Ruby, and many more. High-level languages are easy to understand, but they are slow. Middle-level languages, on the other hand, are slightly difficult to learn, but they are faster as compared to high-level programming languages. They use a special compiler to convert source code into binary. Lastly, we have low-level languages like assembly. They are very difficult to learn and take a very long time to write a program, but they are fast as lightning because they directly interact with system hardware. Before we dive into hacking, let's explore C's history. Developed in the 1970s by Dennis Ritchie, C is primarily used to create operating systems, device drivers, and kernels. As mentioned earlier, the Linux system is also based on the C language. While languages like Python and Bash are also common, it's not entirely accurate to say C is used mostly for hacking. Here's what makes C attractive to hackers. Unlike higher-level languages that abstract away hardware details, C allows programmers to directly interact with memory addresses and manipulate hardware resources. This fine-grained control is valuable for hackers because it helps them exploit vulnerabilities like buffer overflows. Buffer overflows occur when data overflows a designated memory buffer and spills into adjacent regions. Hackers can exploit this to overwrite critical parts of memory, potentially injecting malicious code to gain control. Another vulnerability enabled by C is kernel-level programming. C allows creating programs that interact directly with the operating system core, called the kernel. This access can be used to bypass security restrictions or manipulate system behavior in unauthorized ways. C code is known for its speed and efficiency. This is crucial for hackers because it helps them build faster exploits. Efficient code allows crafting exploits that work quickly, potentially before security measures can react. This is vital in time-sensitive attacks. Additionally, C helps them build lightweight malware. Hackers can develop smaller malware programs written in C that consume fewer resources, making them harder to detect. Since many operating systems and core software components are written in C, understanding C allows hackers to reverse engineer these programs. By analyzing the C code, hackers can gain insights into their functionalities and potentially discover vulnerabilities. This knowledge also helps them develop custom exploits. Understanding the inner workings of a C-written system allows for crafting targeted exploits specific to those functionalities. C is a popular choice for creating shell codes, small pieces of malicious code injected into a system. C's efficiency allows creating compact shell codes that can bypass security filters. Shell codes written in C can directly interact with the system's hardware and memory, giving hackers more control. Hackers can also leverage C to build custom hacking tools for specific needs. C's flexibility allows for tailored functionality by creating tools that automate specific tasks in the hacking process, saving time and effort. Developing tools that target specific vulnerabilities in lesser-known software or systems is another application. In conclusion, C's low-level control efficiency and historical prevalence in system development make it an attractive language for some hackers seeking to exploit vulnerabilities and manipulate systems directly. However, it's just one tool in a hacker's arsenal. Other programming languages also play a role in the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity. If you found this video useful and learned something new, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments what else you want to see related to ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Thank you for watching.